Hey guys, it's Aaron and welcome back to the House of Aaron. Welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. I am super excited because today we have a lot to cover. All right, I hope you guys are ready. We are gonna be talking about NeNe Leaks in this new clip that Bravo released going in on Kenya Moore. Y'all, it is getting real. I am so ready. The reunion is almost here and we're gonna have a kiki about it. And then we also have to get into some things when it comes to Miss Nicki Minaj versus Beyonce and Meg Thee Stallion situation. She got Doja Cat wrapped up in this whole debacle. And, um, you know, she's actually saying some kind words about the other ladies in rap, all right? If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and let's get straight into the video. Last night, I tried to make a video and it was just a hot ass mess. I was out of focus, the audio was messed up. So y'all know that I love to come at you guys with the clips that Bravo has been posting, you know, promoting the reunion or whatever. I know the clip of Portia trying to expose Kenya, came out the clip of Eva and um, Nini going back and forth came out and I wanted to get on here and talk about it but I just couldn't okay the shit was just fucking up um, but shout out to Bravo for releasing these clips I am all the way here for it today we have to talk about the latest clip though um, of Nini going in on Kenya Moore okay so in this clip at the reunion Nini is going in on Kenya okay Miss Kenya Moore hair care and she's basically saying, every time I see you, girl, it's going to be on site, okay? You're going to be called a bitch over and over and over again every time I see you, all right? So check this clip out, and then we'll talk about it. Nene, what did you think of Ken? I actually like Ken. I think Ken is the better person because Ken shuts the f up. Well, maybe Nene should be more like Ken. <laughs> she needs to learn how to shut the f up. Nene is more like Ken. Nene coming to get in that ass. Pick one of your multi Yes, girl, and pick one of your many multi-personalities. Along with my many talents. Good for you, bitch. Okay, so I had to chop and screw that clip up because I don't need Bravo coming for me in my checks, honey, okay? I don't need Bravo coming for me because Bravo has been flagging a lot of the Housewives pages. One of the biggest Instagram accounts for the Housewives of Atlanta got shut down recently. I don't know if Bravo or, you know, NBC Universal shut them down or if they voluntarily deleted the Instagram account, I'm not completely sure. But I do know one of the Housewives pages that I am currently following um, is getting harassed by Bravo uh, because they keep flagging their stuff for copyright infringement. Um, so I personally gotta be careful when I insert these clips in because I'm not trying to get Bravo on my ass, okay? So shout out to everybody at Bravo. Don't be coming over here, hun, because all we're trying to do is promote your little show. Your little show that's slipping in the ratings. So y'all need to slow your roll when it comes to that kind of stuff. But let's get into this clip, y'all. So, of course, it was only one minute in as Kenya V. Moore said, and Nene was already calling Kenya a B-I-T-C-H. Shout out to Meg Thee Stallion. She was already calling her a bitch one minute in. And guess what? I don't want to say I'm here for it, but I'm kind of here for it because y'all know that I'm not the biggest Kenya fan. And Nene was completely 100% correct when she said Ken is a different person from Kenya okay so if you don't know Ken is the nickname that Mark has given Kenya and when Kenya is around Mark she's a completely different person she's quiet okay she's respectful she's obedient she stays in her place she knows how to conduct herself she's just more timid and submissive but when she's out and about with these girls do not piss Kenya off because honey you never know when she's gonna pull a cookie lady on your ass okay you never know when she's gonna ruin your engagement. You never know when she's gonna shade your latest business venture. All right, so Kenya is to not be trusted, but Ken is very sweet and wholesome, okay? So I agree with uh, Nini. Ken is a whole different person, and we all wish Kenya was more like Ken because, girl, sometimes you need to bring it on down okay shout out to candy and of course kenya came back with the shits she was not backing down she said i wish nene okay nene's alter ego was a little bit more like ken she wishes that nene would shut the f up and um you know of course kenya had to bring up her many talents and nene said good for you bitch okay you know that's nene's favorite nickname for anybody is bitch which is mine too i love to call people bitches okay bitches and hoes can suck my toes hey <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, 
So yeah, it looks like this reunion is going to be really spicy. So next up on the docket, we have Megan the Stallion. She's responding to a compliment that Nicki Minaj gave on all the ladies who are dominating rap right now, specifically Doja Cat, okay? Nicki Minaj herself. Of course, they have the Say So remix. And then you also have Megan the Stallion with the greatest rapper alive, Miss Beyonce Knowles Carter on a song called Savage Remix. So earlier this week, okay, Nicki Minaj went to Twitter to answer fan questions. And in one of her statements, she said, man, I just can't believe I'm lucky enough to be a part of this kind of history. I love all of the girls involved. Basically responding to the fact that, you know, the Say So remix with Doja Cat and the Savage remix with Megan and Beyonce, they are going to earn the number one and number two spot on next week's Billboard Hot 100. That is history in the making, people. Okay, do you hear me? Either next week, Beyonce will have her seventh number one and Megan's first number one. One, or Doja Cat will have her first number one and Nicki Minaj's number one. It's crazy. All in all, no matter who goes number one, you have these female rappers dominating the industry. And even if one of the songs go number two, it is still a victory, okay? Number two is still better than number three. Hello. So shout out to Doja, Nicki, Megan, and Queen B. Y'all really are out here doing it for the culture. Um, another piece of Nicki Minaj news that I wanted to bring up was the fact that she is literally alluding to the fact that she may be pregnant. She loves to pull at the heartstrings of her fans and play with their emotions at any given moment. We've seen it when it came to her getting married to Kenneth Petty. You know, for months and months and months, we didn't know whether they were married or not. And she kept, you know, toying with that idea. And then she would come out and say, well, I'm not married. And then she would say, I am married. Um, she's done the same thing when it comes to, you know, music. One day she's going to retire. And then the next day her fifth album is coming out the 15 team we still waiting on that bullshit Nicki Minaj is consistently deceiving her fans okay and she's doing it again I'm not going in on her I'm just saying it is what it is it's gonna be what it's gonna be she went onto Twitter and fans were asking her questions someone said have you been cooking anything during this quarantine and she said absolutely okay I've been having steak shrimp plus my famous cheeseburger she said she's been really having red meat cravings and salad cravings with extra jalapenos and then another fan asked her are you also throwing up in the morning and having to go to the bathroom a lot she said lmao no throwing up but nausea and peeing non-stop omg what do you think this means guys lmao okay laughing my ass off then another fan came back with the shits, okay? She's responding to a lot of fans. She said, can you post a baby bump pic? And Nikki said, yes, in a couple of months. The world ain't ready yet. So basically she's alluding to the fact that, you know, she might be pregnant. We may have an heir to the throne, finally. Um, but what do you think? Do you think Nicki Minaj is really pregnant or do you think she's just playing with us for the umpteenth time? And the fact that she's in the running to having her first number one hit on the billboard, finally, okay, this girl is on cloud nine, okay? She's on a high, she's happy. So she's like, let me get on Twitter. Let me respond to these fans. Let me promote the Say So remix. I feel like she's been promoting the Say So remix more than Doja Cat. Oh, and speaking of these remixes, I am really upset when it comes to Miss Beyonce. Girl, Girl, if Savage Remix doesn't go number one and it falls behind Say So and goes number two, it's going to be because of you, Beyonce, because you literally did not post anything about it on Twitter or on your Instagram. And I'm sick of you always giving somebody a happy birthday shout out on your website like that does something. Like, girl, post something on your Instagram for once in your life, okay? So I want to know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Is Nicki Minaj pregnant? Who you got, okay? Are you team Megan and Beyonce, team Savage, or are you team Nicki Minaj and Doja, team Say So, okay? So let me know what song you want to go, number one. And also, are you tuning in this Sunday for the Real Housewives Season 12 Reunion Part 1, okay? Y'all better be tuning in it's gonna be really good all right you guys so make sure to like this video subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already and also don't forget to create a great day i'll see you guys later bye